Hey guys, if you've been following the chess.com bots recently, you'll know that five cats were created and then they started to disappear when the Megan bot showed up. And one by one, they went away until it was only Megan and Mittens remaining. Now, we didn't know what chess.com was going to do next, but this morning they have made a decision. And let me jump over here to chess.com. There you can see it. All five of the cats are back. The Megan bot is gone. And I guess we can thank Mittens, the hero here over uh, uh, one rated Mittens for beating the Megan bot. So uh, everybody who said the Mittens was going to win, you were correct. And actually, we saw that in my last video where I paired them up. Mittens did indeed win. So for everybody who was sad that the cats were gone, now's your chance. You can go back and play them. Speaking of which, Mittens here is still undefeated and that needs to change. So what I'm going to do now is is play against Mittens, but I'm going to do a little bit of an odds match. So I'm going to be giving myself two extra pawns, and I'm going to see if I can beat Mittens with two extra pawns. If that's not good enough, I will play again and keep adding two pawns until eventually I win, but I'm hoping I can do it on the first try. Hey guys, real quick apology. For all the games I was playing against Mitten that you're about to see, I was referring to them as a he, it clearly says on, on the website, how good is she? So I wasn't really paying attention or thinking about that. So I, I apologize. All right, guys. So here we go. You can see I've added the pawns on B3 and G3. I think they're going to be the best place there. Just they're out of my, out of the way so I can still develop normally. Um, but they also kind of provide some support here. Makes castling either way probably safer. And I just felt like that was probably my best chance. So let's go there. Here we go against Mittens. And we're going to see if we can win. So you can see the eval bar over there. We have a three-point advantage because of those two extra points. So I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Let's just play solid and not overthink this. Let's just play D4. Try to get some quick early trades happening. Okay, everything is looking good so far. I think I'll just play bishop E3 and take this. Okay, Mittens is playing so fast. Let's go knight to C3. Should I just trade that just to simplify the game? That's the question. Maybe not. Maybe I don't need to do that just yet. Maybe I'll just go bishop to e2. And castle. I'm feeling nice and safe over here with my extra g pawn. He trades there. Okay. So this is defended. Uh, we could defend it again. We could bring a rook over. Yeah, let's just defend it again. That seems like a pretty good place for the bishop and probably bring the rooks to the center. Mm, yes. Okay, I'm really liking my... Oh, queen trade. I think this is great. I think this is great. Because if we go into an endgame, I think I'm going to have very good winning chances with these pawns. So let's trade. And can I get another trade here? Takes, takes. That looks pretty safe. Let's go for that. Okay, what is Mittens doing? Is this a trap? Is this a trap? He probably is going to come back and then swing in here. It does look like a trap. It does. Yeah, I don't think I'm going for that. I'm going to just take this, mess up the pawn structure. Let's see if we can get another trade. Nope, that's a blunder because my rook would be hanging. So we have to be a little careful here. He's got the, the pressure here. I think I can just slide the king over, though. Now everything's defended. Okay, he's piling up on that. I don't like this. I don't like this because I don't know what to do now. Rook to d4, but then again, the pin. Hmm, how do we handle this? Well, um, I don't think I can save that if you put, if you, well, no, I could take, it's fine. Let's play c4. Let's just play c4. And of course, if he takes that, we'll go into an endgame. Still up the pawns. Let's play h4. I'm not really sure what to do. Okay, he's going to go for it. Let's see if we can trade. And I'm still pretty happy with this. He's probably not going to trade this. Should I give it a shot anyway? He might go here. Do I really care about that? I can control it. Yeah, I think that's fine. Oh, okay, he's going to give me the option. So the question is, can I win this end game? Three, six, seven. Three, six, seven, eight. So I'm still up a pawn. I think it's probably my best chance, honestly. Let's do it. It does fix his pawn structure a little bit, but we've got an extra pawn. So this seems good. Remember to activate the king. 
I want to be careful here that I don't give him a pass pawn if I don't have to. So let's see. Let's maybe start pushing these guys. Or do I just bring the king up? I'm not actually sure. Let's bring the king up one more time. And then we can start focusing on pushing the pawns. How's that sound? Let's push these. Uh-oh, I'm losing my advantage. I'm losing it. Okay, what do we need to do over here on the queen side? I don't know. I don't actually know. Let's play a5. Okay. Now it's a draw. Mittens. Man. All right, well, do I even... I guess I just take this. Yeah, because my doubled pawn is not helping me. Now I'm losing. I'm losing. I gave him a pass pawn. Exactly what I didn't want to do, right? Oh my goodness. Let's play f4. We're losing. I'm totally losing this, aren't I? All right, well, we're going to take this. So there's only one pass pawn I have to, to worry about. But those, those extra pawns aren't helping me. Mittens is so good. See, I don't even, I don't even know what to do. Do I push this? Nope. Okay, Mittens. We gotta play again. This time, I'm getting four pawns. I'm gonna resign. I, I can see the elo bar, and I can see that... Uh, yeah, I'm in trouble. I shouldn't have given him a pass pawn like this. Alright. Alright, so I'm back to the board setup here, and I'm gonna add the pawns on h3 and a3. Again, I'm trying to not, you know, hinder my natural development, so I think these are the best places. So we'll go from this position. All right, here we go again. Let's see if I can not mess it up this time. He plays the Scandinavian. I'm going to take that. Oh, he's playing some gambit on me. He's playing a gambit when I'm already up four pawns. The guy is not scared, or the cat is not scared, I should say. Uh, do I want to trade that? No, let's just castle. Let's just castle. I mean, look at my king. I've got all these pawns here. What can Mittens possibly do to me? What could he possibly do? Look at this. Look at this. Let's go here. Let's take that. We'll mess up his pawn structure. Let's just play d3. Let's go here try to trade some more pieces. I'm going to give him the bishop pair, but I think... Uh, no, I won't. Actually, I won't. I'll just come back here. This looks like a weak pawn. We'll just attack the weak pawn. Maybe knight to e4. Try to get another trade. Yeah. Okay. I'm pretty happy with this position. I'm pretty happy. Can I do this and take this? He's going to take here, or I can trade. Hmm. Maybe I don't need to overthink it. Let's just play c4. Okay. I think I just want to take that, right? What's he going to do? Or I could play queen c2. Now that I'm, I'm stepping into the discovered attack, I don't really want to do that. All right. I mean, I guess we just take this. I'm, I'm feeling good. I have so many pawns here. Um, okay. Where does my queen go? That's the only, the only question. Because I can't go out this way. All right. I don't want to mess this up. Let's, let's just slow down a little bit. Queen to d2. The rook's going to come over. I see what he's trying to do. He's trying to get some pressure here on my queen. I guess queen d2, queen c3 is safe. Because I don't have to worry about that because the knight. So we'll go for that. Ah, he's going to take the knight. No, but it forces a trade. Pretty happy with that. So let's go here. If he wants to take that, he can. Let's bring this rook over. Okay. I really need to liquidate some pieces here. How can I do that? How can I force some trades? Bishop to f4. I'm losing a pawn. Is it worth it? I'm up four pawns. It might be worth it. What else can I play? Maybe I can just bring my rooks like this. Just double up. Get out of what he's trying to do here. Let's do that. That, that seems pretty good. We'll go rook to d2. And we'll step to the side. I like that. Okay. So, b4 doesn't quite work. I'm up six six points. And it's not easy. Can't take that because the rook. What do I play here? What do I actually play? Uh, I don't really know. Maybe I do have to give up a pawn temporarily here. We'll see. Is that safe? 
should be. Should be. Let's let's do it. Just Uh oh. What did I do wrong? Back rank mate tactics, so I have to take this way. Oh, I see what I did wrong. My king is getting opened up like this. Uh oh. Uh oh, uh oh. Wait a second. Wait a second. What if I go here? No, the queen wait a minute. The queen blocks. But then I could take and force oh, that looks like a good move, right? He's got check. He could take no, yeah, that that's that looks good. Right? And now I can take here. I don't want to take this way or I lose my my bishop. I mean maybe I could still win, but I think this is just the easy way, right? Hold on, hold on. He goes check. I go over. Takes me, I take him. Yeah, it should be winning. It should be winning. Over here, wait a second. I could also go to F1. Is F1 better? Maybe F1's better. No, that's checkmate. Ooh, all right. We're going to go here. He takes that. All right, Nelson, come on. You're not going to lose to a cat again. You're not going to lose to a cat again. I can't force the trades. That's the problem. I got to be careful, though. All right. Here. Maybe that forces a trade. Let's do it. Oh, it's a blender. <laughs> Maiden six. Why did I do that? I didn't consider that he could just move the queen. This is embarrassing. Uh, How many pawns do I need to beat Mittens? I'm, lo I'm lost. It's over. It's over. I thought he couldn't do this because I'm like, oh, I'm taking his work with check. But now what? Now what? Look at this. This is, this is just ridiculous. I can't stop it. All right, 7.9, 7.8 points of material bonus. Can I actually win? Now he's changing up his strategy. Okay. I'm just going to push. I'm just going to push all my pawns forward and see what the cat is going to do about it. What are you going to do about this? Let's just develop. Let's keep going. Let's just keep going. Okay, I've got more pawns where that came from, my friend. Push this one. Okay, let's see. I'll put the bishop on there. Okay, c6, we'll go back. It's fine, we'll go ahead and castle. Okay. Hmm, let's play c3 to stop that. Let's play a3, we'll play b4 here. Yep, look at this. He can't stop these pawns. He can't stop these pawns. Um, let's see. Let's go here, I guess. Let's bring a rook over. I think there's going to be some... Oh, I dropped a pawn. It's okay. Okay. It's all right. It's just a pawn. It's just one pawn. Let's go here. Oh, look at this. The knight's going to come in. This is going to be great. I could force trade, or I could just sink the knight in on d6. Ah, uh, he's attacking this. I got to force the trade, I guess. Let's go ahead and go there. Okay. Okay, we got b5. Looks like we'll force some trades. Takes, takes, check. Am I getting... Oh, back rank mated. What a sneaky cat. He's so, he's so sneaky. All right. How do I deal with this? This is amazing. It's just amazing. Let's go here. Defend. Okay, I need to fix the back rank mate problem. So I'm going to do that now, I think. G3. Okay. We're still ahead. It's not over yet. Let's go B5. Ah, nice move, Mittens. Okay. But can I just go like here, maybe? Ah, I see. I see. He wants to go there. Okay, what if I go here and then get ready to take the... Oh, it's defended. Psh. I'm I'm crazy. I'm I'm losing it. I'm losing it. Okay. Let's put the king on g2. We're still winning, but not by much. Let's go bishop e3. Let's go here. You want to trade? No, he doesn't want to trade, but I'm going to trade this one. Yes, good. Good. I've still got some extra pawns. The question is 
do I need to worry about this guy? Probably should. Let's play knight to d4. Oh, what? It's a draw? How is it a draw? How is it a draw? He has perpetual check? Are you kidding me? No. If I go here, he's just going to go back and forth. What is going on? How is it a draw? Can I just like defend this stuff? Nope. Six pawns and mittens is beating me? Are you kidding me? I'm amazed, right? Yeah, look at that. Look. <laughs> okay, mittens. I'm coming back with eight pawns this game. Let's go. Let's go. All right, here we go again. This is really starting to get embarrassing if I lose this again. All right, let's just use the pawns and take it slow. Just take it slow. Just push the pawns. What's he going to do? What could he possibly do if you just push your pawns? Right? And what's he going to do? Just push them. Bring the pieces out. He's going back. Let's keep pushing the pawns. Let's keep developing. Okay, bishop to d2, I guess, is fine. Wow. Look at this cat. Let's go here. Let's go here. All right. I'm feeling good. Let's castle. I'm feeling good. Let's tr should I trade? Nah, we'll just defend. Just defend that. Let's stop what he's doing over here. Put my knight in there. Okay, fine. Go a4. All right, let's see. I guess at some point I do need to play d4, or maybe I just... This pawn's in my way. I really would like my bishop to be over there. Um, okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> hmm, hmm, hmm. We're a little bit... Actually, we're a little bit jammed up because of the pawns. Let's, let's see if we can maneuver some things around here. Let's go here. Let's play f4. Let's take the, which way? Yeah, I guess this way. Okay. This way. Didn't see that, but I don't think it really matters. Let's keep going. Nope, oh, that's going to hang this pawn. All right. Um, right. Let's see. Maybe I can go back to F3 then. Now we can play G4. Okay. This is good. This is good. G5. Let's go... F6, for some... Oh, he's not going to take it. Okay. Let's go king. Where do we want to go? Probably h1 is fine. And... Take this way. Very good. Okay, we're up 15 points. If we don't win this game, I, I might just quit chess. I might have to. All right. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. Okay, I think we should trade. I think we should trade. Bishop f5 might be good too. No, we'll just trade. We'll just keep it simple. We'll trade. We'll bring the queen in. We'll trade. Perfect. Push the pawn. Push the pawn. Okay, let's bring the rook up. Let's bring the rook over. Let's activate the king before we do anything else. G6. Come on, mittens. This is it. This is it. What's happening now? Um, yeah, I guess we'll go check. Push this guy. How do I actually win? Um, let's go here. Relocate the bishop. Okay. Um, what's the breakthrough? If I go here, that should be good enough yeah he's gonna stop me but then we can maybe attack let's play c3 we'll try to i think we're gonna have to open things up here okay good Whew. all right all right i think we can win this one let's go here he's trying to make a blockade but he just doesn't quite have enough i don't think i don't think he quite has enough let's go here yeah he sacrifices that all right 
All right. I think we did it. We're doing it. Let's go. This one. Okay. Let's see. Let's defend the pawn. Kind of annoying. It's kind of an annoying cat. Okay, let's go here. Let's go here. Let's go here. Let's take that. Let's just not get uh, any sort of stalemate traps happening. Should be able to go here. Okay, let's trade this. Let's go here. Let's get a queen. Mate in three. Where's the mate in three? We should be able to find this, right? Is it check? Nope, that wasn't it. <laughs> All right. Good game, Mittens. I only need eight extra pawns to beat Mittens, apparently. Wow. Okay, hope you guys enjoyed that one. And... I'm tired of losing to the cat, but uh, <laughs> I'll see you guys next time. As always, stay sharp, play smart, and take care.